Hello, the Darkness 344 here, and in this video, I'm basically going to be showing off, uh, well, I, I guess an upgraded version of this display. Um, a couple of videos ago, well, well, uh, like almost one or two years ago now, I made this display, which um, basically used this little keyboard device over here, which you could, well, um, click a, a letter, and it would send uh, the data down the serial device which is hopefully fixed in um, this update because comparators were broken the last update and it will go in here do some computational stuff and it will display to the certain segment well um character i guess I, i'm not i still don't really know what to call these but the, there was a couple of limitations so the first the first limitation with this is that the, the way i made this is every well i'm, I'm just going to call them characters um I'll probably have some text like appearing at the top of the screen for what what uh, the segment display is actually called. It, you know, I'll just call it a segment display. For every segment display, um, we have uh, a bunch of ROM locations over here, and these these store the characters. And uh, as you can see, there there is a slight problem. Each each segment display has its own individual ROM. That's very inefficient. You you could just use one ROM. And then just a bunch of memory for the individual segments and that is what the new one partially addresses so and and of course with this much pistons and all the stuff it makes it very choppy you may see a bit of lag over here and i i have pretty good pc and it, re it really should not be this laggy on something like this so i have um optimized this also another one of the big issues is that when each character has its own um rom well not well, each segment display has its own ROM. You get the issue of if you want to ever add characters, then you have to change it for every single one of them. And that's just kind of annoying. Say I just wanted to add like uh, a bunch of characters in the future to one of these um, segment displays. Well, I wouldn't be able to do that because without having to redesign the entire thing. So the, the other, well, I guess glaring issue you, you may see is that this is only a 12 segment display so while it can display every letter in the alphabet as you can see um well you get capital letters and lowercase letters and and it just really does not look good when you have a mix of them together and i, I built this in in one day very quickly so i, I wasn't too fussed about it at the time however it, it just doesn't look that good so a, a 16 segment display which i'll show in a minute would be much better so over here we have the 16 segment display and i have 16 of these pixels right next to each other so this this uses a, a pretty standard design and it basically means you can display capital letters lowercase letters uh, a couple of symbols as well and it, it just works out quite well and as you can see i've even compacted the design whereas before we had three blocks between each um display segment display segment um segment display I, I don't even know what to call them still but uh, now we only have one block between each one which is just a lot better the other thing you may notice is well it's less laggy and they're, they're a lot more compact and that's due to instead of having rom for each one of them we have one centralized um rom location which is, is just this over here and it means we can easily add characters if we want to. We, we can just add another line like this. And we can add characters just like that. And it also means that, well, um, it's a lot faster as well. Because we don't have to have, like, just a bunch of delay and stuff from the... To to account for all the, all the ROM. So, over here I have a quick demonstration. And we can write the letter hello onto this display. So, first of all... We're going to input the address of the the letter, the capital letter H, to this ROM. And unfortunately, I've only programmed so far the letters A through Z or Z, um, and space the character space. And however, these are all these use well ASCII the ASCII values uh, in binary, so. 
if you want to add more you, you can easily do that and it will be compatible with this display so for instance the the letter h in ascii is one zero zero one zero 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 and of course we're working with seven bits here you, you can have eight bits if you want utf8 and stuff however for just a standard character range we're just going to use um seven bits it, it just makes things a bit simpler if if you did want to use eight bits you could just add another line over here so um first of all we read the address and it'll basically um, activate the the location of H and this just dis well this stores the data for which segments uh, to turn on for the letter H so as we can see if we if we want the capital letter H we want this one so this one this one this one this one this one and this one to turn on so we can get a proper H so and if we go over here, uh, we reread that one, and as you can see, it turns on all the specific pixels, which goes into this bus, which um, goes to all the cells. However, we can choose a specific cell we want it to write to, so let's say cell 0. So we, we put in the address 0 down here, and we just update the cell, and as you can see, we have the letter H. So we, we can do the same thing for the letter E. So if we turn on E, we can come down here. If we change this by one, so it goes to the cell next to it over here. When we update that, as you can see, we have the letter E. So this this is a lot faster than the previous design. And I'm, I'm pretty sure you can put letters in, in quick succession. I don't know exactly how fast it is. It will, of course, depend on how big you build this display. But it is is fast enough for just simple stuff like this. So you, you can write, you can have like a proper program behind this. Oop, I, ju I just wrote the, the letter L to the same location twice. So, oh, oh I'm going to get demonetized now. Um, let's quickly write an O before YouTube destroys me. There we go. And we have the word hello. So it's, it's a pretty good display. And if, if you want to use this, um, yeah, you, you can use this in your videos. You can use this for your computers. It's, it's quite simple to use. All you have to do, input the character, um, input the address, and hit um, update cell. And over here, we even have this clear display, which will clear the display. Pretty, pretty simple. So. The way this works, let, let me break it down. So I've already talked about the ROM, and this is just a bus which I've talked about. It, it just goes to all the cells, and the way the cells work is they use this this pretty cool design of um, it's it's basically a latch, and let me find an example of it. Um, this this is a project coming up which I'll, I'll show off later in a future video, hopefully if if I ever get it completed. But over here, I think this is the one. Um, not not the one with comparators. But actually, I, I think I did actually use comparators in in this design. So over here, we can input something like this, and we get our output at this end over here. When uh, let me yeah, I, th I don't know if comparators are still broken. Let's see. There we go. So when when we read the comparator, we we don't actually have this bit on the display. So if if we look at this bit, this is this is the actual output. So ig ignore this part. So we have the latch over here, as you can see, and this this bit over here and this bit over here are our control circuitry. So over here we can reset the latch to a zero, as you can see like that, and over here we can write a 1 to it, or, or write a 0 to it, it doesn't matter. Um, we have to make sure the pulse is correct, or it will do that. And over here is just a bit of circuitry to stop us being able to write anything. As you can see, we can't write anything to the latch. So if we um, write a 1 to the latch, like this, 
then we d disable the input. As you can see, whatever our input is, a 1 or a 0, we the latch will stay in its state. We'll say we reset the latch and the state of the latch is 0. Whatever we write to it, it will still be 0 because that's what it's storing. So, so that's how it works. And this design was um, originally by, I, I think I used it a very long time ago in my graph plotter. And it, it, so for like a normal display like this, so a, a display like this I used it for. However, I've, I've slightly modified it with a few upgraded bits, so it would work in a text display like this. And you, you can pretty much display a lot of characters on something like this. And if, if you really want to go for like numbers and stuff as well, you could probably even add like a dot down here to signify like place value and stuff. However, yeah, I mean, I guess that's up to you if you want to modify this design. So yeah, that's pretty much um, this display. And hopefully I'll release a video on this once I finish it. Um, yeah, I, I don't know if you'll be able to figure out what this is. Um, leave suggestions in the comments. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm not giving much clues here. But the, the only clue I'll give is that these are shift registers and this these are XOR gates. Or exclusive OR gates. So yeah, please like and subscribe. And what download of this will be in the description. Well, this one specifically. And yeah, hope you like this video, and I'm out.